Hey, I am Reverend Maureen Cotton from The Soulful Wedding. I am a minister for the spiritual but not religious, and I'm here to help you have a meaningful wedding ceremony that is deeply authentic to you. Today, I wanna to tell you about the wine box time capsule ritual, and I want, to want, I want to walk you through three to four to five, depending on how you think about it, variations to help you bring the energy and the kind of ritual and meaning that really suits you. So the basic idea of the wine box ritual is to have a bottle of wine present on your wedding day that goes in a box and it gets closed up and the wine is opened in the future. Maybe your five year anniversary, maybe your 10 year anniversary. And the most um, simple way to add a layer of meaning to the wine in the box is to put your wedding vows in the box. So this can be a ritual moment in the ceremony where your officiant invites you after you've spoken your vows to put the vows in the box. You also can write letters to your future self, to your spouse, and to the person they will become, and you don't share them with each other before the ceremony. You just put them in the box and you get to read them in the future. So that is two ways to approach that first step where it's really just about you as the couple, that sort of moment of imagining the future, all that could happen between now when you open that wine in the future, and it gives you a ready-made anniversary ritual for a um, milestone anniversary. Another way to adapt this ritual is to start to include other people. The most simple way to include other people is if you do the ritual as I just described, you could invite important people to be your letter carriers. So for example, each of the mothers could be the people who bring your special letter to the ceremony. So when it's time to put the letters in the box, the officiant first invites your mothers to come up and give you the letters. And that is just a really simple way that, you know, when that, your mom comes up, you share a hug or a kiss, and it's just a really simple way to bring her into the ceremony space. It doesn't have to be mothers, it could be other parents, it could be the best man, the maid of honor, um, anyone who you would want to invite to ceremony space, they could bring the letter to you. You could further involve family or other special people by inviting them to also write notes that get put in the box, that get read on your anniversary. If it would be beautiful and meaningful for you to have the words, the handwriting, the names of your family members as part of the anniversary ritual. You can expand the ritual even further to your whole community. So if you were to include maybe just a few people, as I just described, they could come and bring their letters up during the ceremony. If you're interested in involving your whole community, you would put your letters or your vows in the box during the ceremony. Then the box gets moved to the reception. And at the reception, the box is laid out with note cards or paper and pens. I've seen everything from simple index cards to beautiful letterpress stationery with the couple's names to people who got multiple colors of different kinds of markers and stickers and took it in a really fun direction. Whatever feels right to you, whatever suits the vibe of your wedding, um, but just make sure that your officiant explains this and your officiant invites people. Hey, when you get to the reception, look for the box, add your note, don't overthink it. That's a very important uh, instruction and then everybody can be involved. So those are different ways to work with this ritual from just you the couple to involving your whole community. Here's one more layer you can add on if you want. You could have two bottles of wine. One bottle of wine goes in the box, one bottle of wine is opened during the ceremony. I suggest that it be the same bottle, the same type of wine, the same year and you drink it on that day and then you have it in the box and then your officiant can offer a reflection about the nature of change. Even though it's the same wine, it's gonna taste different today than it will in five years or 10 years.